Okay, awesome. So after this, now we are ready to go for the next step. So the next step we actually want to do here is showing tabs, bottom tabs. Okay. So with this, our app would be more advanced and one step further for the original design and app building. Now to do this, first over here we need to install a plugin. So the plugin, we're going to install it as uh, npm install react navigation bottom tabs. So let's go ahead and hit enter. So hopefully it should install this library actually. Right, so hopefully we don't have any issues with this. So now we're going to go ahead and close this and then here, well, this guy over here, we're gonna actually save inside this file screens because it's gonna hold all of our screens actually. So here we're gonna call it bottom tabs.js. Okay, right. After that, here we're gonna create our NFC React Native functional component, this one. And here it already had the name as bottom tabs. Okay, right. Now, one of the things that we got to go ahead and import at the top over here, import here, so you create a bottom tab bar navigation. As you can see, so we need to get to this one. All right, so let's go ahead and save it. And it's just pretty much like earlier we had a create native stack navigator. Okay. Right, so that's the, the thing that we want to use. And then over here, we can say const tabs equal, you know, create bottom, create bottom tab navigator, just like this one at the top that we did, right? So we also have to do, so in fact, this two tabs are very similar. So here we had, uh, stack navigator which was for going to different screens okay but in that case it was like navigator container and stack navigator and then we had stack dot screen so basically stack dot navigator and then over here stack dot screen this one so over here we are going to follow the same actually so i'm going to remove this first and since at the top we created this tabs object so from here we could do more other things for example here you can say tabs dot navigator this one okay all right and uh, inside this you can create another one tabs dot screen okay all right so this is the one that we are going to create over here all right now with this we'd be almost ready so we're gonna save it but of course this time we'll not see anything okay but here actually it, within this tabs.screen we are going to go ahead and uh, show our home screen over here this one so this is the one that we are going to show so for this reason earlier we already had as you see over here uh, within this we had name component and options in fact we can copy all of this and here we are going to put it like this okay okay so that's the first thing now we what we could do over here as we already have this bottom tabs ready in fact now we can remove this this things over here or we can rename them okay so here we can say bottom tabs and then over here we could say bottom tabs this one so make sure that you import it correctly All right so now with this when our app hits app.js file so first it's gonna look for the screen which refers to the tabs over here Okay, and within it, we also have other screens, like in our case, we will have home screen. Okay, all right. Of course, home screen looks like the path has not been imported because we copied it. So here you could do home screen and like this. Okay, 
So make sure that it's imported at the top. Now we're going to save it here. And then over here, we're going to save it. OK, all right. Now, as you see over here, if you see carefully that it already showed up over here. So it's uh, like here, we already have this white section and then an icon. Of course, the icon is not visible. But here we also have home screen. OK, all right. So we can continue to work on this. So since things are working over here, actually, I could do like this. We have some options to set up. And those options would be helpful for like, say, showing the icons, uh, this and that. OK. All right. So I think we already have it at the top. So I'm going to remove that. And then we're going to be here. Inside this here, one is called tab bar icon, this one. OK. So we want to show an icon for our uh, bottom tab over here, the one that we have for home, OK? Now let's hover over on this. And here we do see that it takes uh, props. And then there is this closure, which means that actually it's going to take a component over here. Now we're going to have it like this first, since it's going to take a component. So this is now a component. Now, since this is a component, you know that within component, you have to have a return statement. OK, so that's what we are going to have. All right. And after this, within this over here, so we can have some JSX. In our case, we'll have ionicons, 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 this one. And within it, we'll set up our icon and everything else. So the icon name that we want here, we're going to say name. And here we can say, for example, home. OK, so let's go ahead and save it. And as you see that it already changed over here. And at the same time, not only that, we can also set up other properties over here. What other properties say, for example, size. Now you can go ahead and do 60. All right, so it's way too big. You could do. 30 it's also big okay so it's up to you but in our case we already have our theme so we're gonna get this theme file and then here sizes dot here we could do x large this one so this is gonna this is what we are going to have and this is uh shown over here all right and then over here we could also work on the color section so here let's go ahead and do color now here we could also do color from our theme. So here we'll have themes color and that here we're going to use a primary color. But of course you can use any custom color if you want. So here we already see that. OK, so this is our home screen. OK, now of course it has only one tab. In fact, we can go ahead and copy this. If we do that here, we'll see that we will have two tabs. So let's go ahead and save it here can't contain multiple screen components with the same name. So here you see that this is a home screen and this is also home screen. Now since we are doing the test, just go ahead and uh, change the name. Say for example, just say home. Let's go ahead and save it. So here we see that we have two tabs and actually we can switch between each of them. OK, but of course, since the content is same, it looks like we don't have any changes. But regardless, whatever it is, you can also see that we can go back and come back. You can select this over here. OK, so load the products and come back like this. OK, so we'll continue in next section.